saying? We need all the big dick niggas to do the thug shit challenge, bro. All right, y'all. No, 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 no shrimps and shit, bro. He in the stream. Who in the stream? Who in the stream? Does this outfit look familiar? This is the same thing I wore last time I took you over my knee and spanked your bottom with some discipline. And oh, I'm shit. happy to report that these are back in stock and Omar, more at moistglobal.com. Last time I talked about you, I used you for a merchandise push as well, so might as well stick with tradition. I bet just wow. seeing me in this attire again has just sent you on a full-blown winter soldier episode with your eyes rolling into the back of your skull as you're experiencing post-traumatic stress disorder. Because oh, the first shit. video I made on you offended you to such a high degree that you have not stopped whining since. It's already been three months, can you believe that? How time flies. You started shit with me by insulting me and my girlfriend out of nowhere, so naturally I responded by making fun of you in return and mm -hmm. showcasing the reasons why I don't respect you. Damn. But unfortunately I failed to calculate just how much of a sensitive fucking loser you are. Damn! Because this hurt your feelings to such a high degree it's become like an Armageddon in your brain. Three months you have continued to melt down about this. The day after I posted my response, what he went on stream and had a huge unhinged tantrum and meltdown about the whole thing. And then he sent some of his viewers over. So I was joking with them saying like, oh, you guys must have just stopped the cuties watch party over there at Sneeko's stream, right? Welcome cucks, that kind of shit. And it got really- This nigga was dancing with a gun on a stream with a cigar? This nigga crazy! Under his skin in a big way. So he started dancing around with a gun and threatening to come shoot me. So he kept saying, oh, you're in Tampa, right? I'll come see you. Waving his gun around and dancing. What the fuck? You wanna watch my clips? Watch my clips. Watch my clips. You wanna wa oh, you want me to watch your clips? Watch my clips. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> These are the only clips I'm watching, you were. Now, the reason he keeps saying watch my clips while mm -hmm. threatening me here yeah. is because during the stream, I couldn't watch him live because he just kept shouting slurs. Yeah. So I said, watch my clips to see what I was saying about you. I had to communicate via Twitch clips. Yeah. And I'm sorry to be that guy. This is like the grammar police of guns, but he's a fucking imbecile. You absolute buffoon. What you have there is not clips. These are mags. Oh! They're mags, not clips. You absolute fucking dummy. Oh! The same way that this is also a mag. Oh! No mags. Stop saying clips. You look fucking stupid here. Anyway, sorry for the gun anatomy lesson. Damn! He was What's very good, upset, me? so he was threatening to come Bro, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's his W come back. I didn't like... That nigga did that shit so subtle, bro. He, he, bro. He did that shit so subtle. He did that shit so subtle, bro. He did that shit so... That, that bro said... This is a clip. This is a clip. Bro pulled that out his fucking bag out of nowhere, bro. Lace it, nah, I didn't have it. Lace it. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, that was fine. I gotta run it back. I gotta run it back. I gotta run it back. That was clean. That was clean. That was clean. That was clean. The same way that? that this is also a mag. They're all That's mags. That's crazy. Stop saying clips. You look fucking stupid here. Anyway, sorry for the gun anatomy lesson. He was very upset, so he was threatening to come shoot me, beat me up, all of that, because I hurt his feelings, and it's been festering for quite some time now. Damn. Three fucking months. You love to bitch about how everyone's canceling you. These soy boy NPC bots are all canceling you. It's all you do. You treat the teenagers in your Discord like they're your goddamn therapist. Just going in there to complain about the invisible boogeyman canceling you again, shaking your fist at the clouds. I oh, also shit. love that you treat this Discord server like it's your PR team, so you have them work on your responses on Twitter because you're not witty enough to come up with anything on your own. You have no ability to banter. You can't insult anyone. Anytime you're pushed, all you fall back on is one of three things. Soy boy, bot, or NPC. And that's it. You never deviate from this path. Which is ironic, because you're like literally a sheep. You have three programmed responses. You're like the absolute worst character, side character, in an MMO. It's oh pathetic. my! Yo, Let's, why he violating? I'm getting sidetracked. Omar said a you chat. Love to be Bro got mad at me just to go live. I hate you. Shut up. For public about how much you hate antidepressants and you shit on anyone who takes antidepressants. But with the way you talk in your Discord server, I'm pretty convinced that you're only two or three messages away from asking your community to source antidepressants for you under the table to help with all this mental anguish you're going through. Oh, shit. And I shit. think that honestly be a good idea. It might help you. But I'm, 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 I'm putting the cart before the horse here. How did we get to Chat, this? Chat, would y'all let someone violate well, y'all like this or no? Sneeko, and I fully planned on that being the only time I ever talked about this asshole. I really did. All I wanted to do was highlight why I personally don't respect him. I know a lot of people criticize me for not tackling his points, 
And to Turn that I say, lights. bah humbug, this fucking goober didn't make any points. All he did was insult me and my girlfriend. That better? He insulted me and my girlfriend because I made fun of one of his friend's blatantly fake stories. He resorted to childish name calling like, I'm ugly and I don't go outside. That's not making any points. Like, what am I supposed to debunk, debunk there? No, actually, my mom thinks I'm handsome, and, and so does my girlfriend, so you're wrong. Factually wrong. Are we good There's now? nothing to debunk. The whole point of the video was highlighting why I don't respect him. I'll go ahead and good? briefly give you a previously on Dragon Ball Z lore recap to bring you up to speed on the points I was making for why I think he is a pathetic piece of shit, and his opinion holds no value in my eyes. Damn! Is because he publicly defends Cuties as one of his favorite movies. Cuties was a Netflix film that used real child actresses in sexual situations. So they sexualized real children. A what? Fact that Sneeko himself acknowledges, but writes off as being okay because it's realistic, because in the real world, children get sexualized. I'll say it again. Regardless what? of what the intention of the film was, they missed the mark because what ended up happening is they sexualized the child actresses. That is a problem. Full stop. Even if the message was supposed to be the opposite, they still ended up contributing to the very problem they were speaking out against. I watched Cuties last night and it was, it was pretty good. It's a pretty good movie. I went in ready to hate like everybody else. I, I saw the cover and it was, I got clickbaited. What so the you, fuck? You got clickbaited. The thing about Cuties is it's not an unrealistic film. Like, yes, it shows children in a sexual way, but this is not Why is Omar now. messages not, oh, there I go. And the people who are really mad about this aren't Gen Z. Imagine claiming children in sexual positions is clickbait. Yikes. That's rough. You admit that the children were sexualized. That is bad. That's and weird. That's the weird. The that's movie weird. failed that's in its mission. I don't know what you don't get about that. But regardless, I'm not here to just keep hammering home the same points. Uh, another thing that I talked about for a reason I don't respect him is because he battles with his own sexuality. Chat, is lights off in my he room more of that or no? public about Should how I he used about to go to lights? these swinger parties. I think he says four in total over the course of like two weeks where he watched his girlfriend get fucked by other men. Even telling us What? He watched his girlfriend get fucked by other men? Nah, no, bro, I ain't gonna lie. This is, this is crazy. Story of how he was literally in the bed watching his girl get fucked by a different man, moaning oh intensely, oh and it, it was traumatizing. Yet he recommends that everyone should try it at some point for some reason. Because this was, imagine, what? imagine what seeing the girl you love, like, get fucked. Get fucked. You love her? Yeah, I do. I love her. Yeah, I love her. I was about to say I love this bitch. I'm like, no, nah, let me not say that. I love my... Queen. Queen. He trolling. He trolling. He trolling. He trolling. He trolling. He trolling. He has to be trolling. No one thinks like this IRL. No one think like this. No one think like this. You allowed the love of your life to get fucked by another man. What happened to the other? Is there a deal? I'm crazy. The first time, as soon as I saw like three pumps in, I just got up and walked out. I'm just like, I can't. I can't do that. Feeling traumatic thoughts, like seeing her with another person it's a lot it's a lot to, I th but i think it's something everybody should do i do just to yeah busy i know your fat ass too bro of course you My do nigga like you literally have to your biscuit fuck every weekend bro like it's literally fucking like it's not an option for you to like think like that when he you're forced to bro is it's cool though everybody got your back bro upset and he can't come to terms with it now if he's open about being a cuck and happy and proud to be a cuck that's fine but he's not it makes him mad every single time so, why the Bro, fuck is this insecure guy the girl, one that's the moral authority on healthy relationships crazy. all of a sudden? That was the point of me bringing up that clip. Now, that's that was basically the whole video. I summed it up real quick. All I pointed out is I don't respect his opinion because he defends a movie I consider to be child porn. I think any film or any production that has real children being sexualized should be classified nigga, as child porn. I'm gonna porn. look at her the same. Nigga, I wouldn't look at her all, nigga. Bro, when I see her, if she even agreed to that shit, nigga, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. If, if she even like, I, like if she like even put herself in a predicament, nigga, I'm out of there, nigga. I'm blocking everything, bro. I don't give a fuck, bro. That shit crazy. That's how I view it. Maybe your definition's different, but that's how I personally view that kind of content. So him defending that was beyond reprehensible to me, and him being very public with his cuckoldry and how. Uh, scarring it has been it should be a lesson an example that he himself is not great when it comes to relationships and all these things damn and i posted that and it made him extremely upset and he hasn't stopped fucking crying about it for three months so fast forward to two days ago i was streaming a moist esports tournament 
and I went up to go to the bathroom. I had to take a shit. It was a double flusher. So I was on the toilet for quite some time. She said, yeah, and let's I do it. The dick was not good enough. Posted yeah, posted quite a few times now. Definitely. And I thought, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not doing anything else right now on the porcelain throne. I'll play in the pig pen. So I did. For three months now, Sneeko's had this adorable little collage that he made that looks like it's straight out of a 16-year-old girl's <laughs> diary with pictures of boys from her class that she doesn't like. All about people that have hurt his feelings. This is his wall of shame for people that have insulted him online. What's even sadder about it is he purposely leaves out people that he's afraid of. So, Turkey Tom, for example, made a whole video talking about Sneeko and how pathetic he is. And Sneeko tried to talk a big game to him, even challenged him to a debate, which Turkey Tom accepted with jubilation. He was ecstatic. And then Sneeko kept ducking him, ghosting him. So he leaves Turkey Tom off of this list because he's afraid to actually talk to him. And he also leaves off quite a few other people, but the most notable other one that is comical for the absence is Brandon Buckingham. Brandon Buckingham is an internet content creator that Sneeko lied about for a long time, and they had a lot of beef. And Brandon Buckingham actually challenged him to a fight. And Sneeko is very fearful of him. We'll get into that in... We'll get into that more in depth in a moment, but I just need to set the stage oh a little bit here. Bro, with this he's collage. violating. So this for the hundredth time in the last three months, I finally just said, "Holy shit, you pathetic, sensitive, soy little worm!" I made fun of you for watching your girlfriend get fucked by numerous other men, and also insulted you for defending child porn. That's not cancellation. That's just spitting on you for being a pitiful, sad cuck. And this puppy really blew up on Twitter in a big Damn. way. Now, I will say it again. What I did and what I am doing right now is not canceling you, Sneeko. I am insulting you. <laughs> I am making fun of you. Something that you Yo, were supposed bro, to be a huge proponent of, right? Wasn't like one of your big things like bullying needs to be brought back. So now that I'm making fun of you, what all of a sudden now it's now it's off limits, now it's can Yo, I go lie, this video too crazy to even fucking finish this shit, bro. Yo, why, bro, why is there so much drama, bro? Chat, we gotta get some fucking drama, bro. Chat, I ain't gonna lie, we gotta get some drama, 